Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'm going to show you how to replace a broken switch. Now, this switch is involved in a house renovation that I'm doing right now. And this switch goes to this light. I believe that's an old Lights of America light. <laughs> uh, if you're not familiar with Lights of America, they, they uh, had lights back in the 90s and so forth, and they're terrible. They're just terrible. They use this kind of bulb right here. Uh, so I have one. I'm not going to be changing out the light unless I have to because we still have to paint. And there's a lot of demolition and so forth right now to, to still go. So I'm just going to try and get this light working because we have no illumination in this bedroom and we need it to paint and so forth. Let me show you around a little bit. Okay, uh, here's a cabinet door on the hallway. <laughs> That's going to be fun to fix. Okay, here's the bathroom. We've been working on this uh, house for like three weeks. The first two weeks was just totally getting trash out of here, <laughs> mainly. And uh, so this is a, a, where the five foot bath vanity was. And you see, there's some problems with the wood. So that's gonna be a project for later on today. So we're gonna be tearing out like uh, to rate, to right here or so, we we'll turn it here and maybe on the other side of the toilet and we're going to be replacing all that wood. Uh, so that's going to be a fun project. Oh, here's a spot where uh, the guy that lived here decided he was going to kick a big hole in the plaster wall. And so I got to like sand that down and finish fixing that. And there was three doors that were all goofed up. I mean, not just the doors, but the jams too. The guy ruined the jams while he was at it. So, so these are new pre-hung doors. This has been a project that's been going on here. And you see, this is an old plaster wall. So what we did, let me just show you quickly how we did this. We uh, broke out the plaster all around the door and we did not break out the plaster on this side. See, this still has the, the very nice professional 50s plastering job. And then this is caulking right in here. This is our, our new pre-hung door right here. And so we're ready to paint. That's one new door. And here's another new door. They jacked up the jams on all of these doors, not just the doors. The jams too. So here's the front door. <laughs> here's the front door. <laughs> oh my God. I have to either have to laugh or cry about this stuff. So might as well laugh. And uh, here's the, the third new door. Okay. That's all in there real nice. Let's, let's see how I did. Let's see how I did. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. You know, I mean, for an electrician, it's not bad. Okay, so uh, moving right along. Oh, that's, that's going to be fun. Okay, let me show you the kitchen. This is a nice dining room. I want you to look at, at the coved. See if it, it's kind of white on white. It's not showing up that good. Okay, this is a cove plastering job. Just a beautiful plastering job. And here's some artwork that was left by the previous people here. We need to clean all that off. And I got little notes and stuff on the wall. <clears throat> Here's a, a door right here that I don't know exactly what happened, but it's got to be replaced. So here's the kitchen. All right. So we've just taken out all the lower cabinets. My plan See, it's a big kitchen. This is San Diego real estate. This is valuable. I know it looks like terrible. It looks terrible right now, but this is, this is, it's a big kitchen, okay? Okay, so anyway, um, the plan is to replace all the lower cabinets and the countertop and the faucet and the garbage disposal and the dishwasher and the stove and the microwave. Just replace it all. <laughs> and uh, 
I'm going to try and save the upper cabinets. There will be a lot of cleaning involved and painting. And I think the upper cabinets are going to make it, I think, so far. So we'll see. And uh, so that's the kitchen. But let's, let's get to our light repair. We have, we have broken switches for some reason in this house. I'll show you another one in here. Okay, here's a, a double switch in the bathroom. See, this switch is broken. These people were very rough on everything. So, all right, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is change out the switch cover. Now I've got a little tip for you. Okay, you got your screw gun here. Uh, just take out the, the filled bit, put in a straight slot bit. You know, if you got a lot of these to take off prior to painting, you're just going to speed up the whole process using your screw gun. There it is. All right. All right. Here's my Fluke 1 AC voltage detector. Okay, this is hot. So I'm going to go uh, turn off the circuit breaker and then after I turn off the circuit breaker I'll test it again like this to make sure it's off. Here I am at a sub panel and this one says back bedroom. That'd be this one right here I guess. So let's turn it off. And we have our Fluke 1 AC. Uh, try put it right where it was. It was hot right here before, and it's not. Uh, the flashing just means it's on and it's working properly. So put it all around in here. So now the circuit going to this switch is off. Here's the good old painted over screws. Let me get this going. There we go. Before I go any farther, I'm going to double check again. Now they can get in here farther. With my Fluke 1 AC and it says it's off. I'm going to go ahead and just cut these. Right there and right there. So let's take a look at this box here. This is some old time wiring. This is a 1957 house that I'm working on right now. And these two black wires are actually taped together. Not a wire nut, not a woggle lever nut, it's no thing like that. It's just taped together. So we have one wire right here that's actually red. You can see the little remnants of red on there. And this is two black wires. So I'm not going to disturb this. I'm going to leave this connection alone. It's worked since 1957 and I think it's still going to work. I'm just going to strip off enough on these two wires to make a good connection to our new switch. Okay, here's our new switch. This is a Leviton a single pole switch and a couple things you need to know is that it says top right here. T-O-P, top, so that goes on the top. And Back in the back here, we have three methods of connection. One, you can go around the terminals and tighten the terminals down. The second method is that you can use the back wiring system, meaning that you put the wires right in here. You clamp them down as you tighten up the terminal screw. That's back wiring. And we have a third method right here. It's called back stabbing. You stab your 14 gauge wire right in there, and I do not recommend backstabbing. The back wiring and going around the terminals are excellent. Backstabbing is not a good method of connection. You need to decide what you're going to do though, because 
if you are going around the terminals, you need to strip off about three quarters of an inch to an inch off each one. If you're going to do back wiring, there's actually a strip gauge on here and it's, it's about uh, half inch. I'm going to use the back wiring system and I'll be taking about a half inch off of each one. And here's a ground terminal for the switch, which brings up another question is, how do you ground these switches uh, if it is possible? So we're gonna check and see if it is possible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the circuit breaker back on. Okay, I've turned on the circuit breaker and it's our hot wire right here. Okay, so this is my Fluke 117 electrician's meter and I'm gonna put the red lead to the hot wire and I'm going to uh, put the black lead to the metal back here. And look at that, 116.2 volts AC. That means that we have a return path to the panel from the metal box. That means that the metal box is grounded or else there wouldn't be a return path. So there you go. So what we're gonna do there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to turn the circuit breaker back off. Be right back. Okay, I've turned the circuit breaker off. I'll we'll give this hot wire a test right here. The one that was previously hot and it's not hot now because the circuit breaker is off. And what we're going to do is I'm going to use my little kit here. Ideal combination drill and tap kit with smooth start tip. I'll use the 1032 size for a ground screw. I'm gonna drill a hole with the circuit breaker off, that's very important, in the back, like right about here, and then I'll hook up my ground wire, and then I'll hook this ground wire to the switch. Then I'm gonna use this extension piece right here. This is made by Milwaukee, it's really handy. And uh, just take out the bit that's in there, put this bit in here, and this one is rated for impact. So here we go. There. Beautiful. Okay, so now we have a ground wire for our new switch. On the grounding terminal, the only option we have is to go around the terminal. So, okay. Okay, so you put it around the terminal in a clockwise manner. Give it a cramp and we'll tighten her down. It doesn't matter which wire goes to what terminal now. I'm going to use the back wire system, so I'm going to put this 1957 wire right in there and tighten her down. Okay, and then the second wire, it's pretty short, that's a short wire, Whew. That's another reason why I chose the back wire instead of going around the terminals is it takes up more wire to go around the terminals. So the back wire system can save you when you've got a short wire like this. Okay, when you're using the back wire system, make sure that only the wire is underneath this clamp. Wrap a couple wraps of black electrician's tape around the terminals of the switch and install the switch. Now I'm going to turn on the circuit breaker, see if the light goes on. Okay, the bulb did turn on. And the switch works great. So I'm not going to be putting on the cover plate because we're going to be painting. I am going to be putting on a piece of blue tape and we're ready to rock and roll. You can still turn on and off the switch a little bit, but um, there you go, we're ready to paint. I'll put links in my video description for the Fluke 1 AC voltage detector and I'll put a link for the Fluke 117 electrician's meter. What a combination this is. They're working on old houses 
This is just fabulous. I'll put links for the Kinepex electrician's installation tool and the Kinepex diagonal cutters. Those are great tools to be working on houses with too. And I'll put a link for the ideal tap and die set. Really, really valuable. Okay, thanks. I hope that video was helpful.